This is the Cargo Connect competition field. There are 16 missions which can be done in any order. You do not have to complete all the missions, just try as many as you can in each two and a half minute robot match. Only the score from your best match will be counted. Before each match, make sure your whole field has been reset correctly. Don't forget to check that all the models that should start in home are present and placed slightly apart as shown here. Check with the team that they are okay with the setup of the field before the start of the match. Your robot must start completely inside this launch area and you should program it to return to this home area. You can handle and modify your robot between runs while it's in the home area. If the team's robot extends outside the launch area, gently remind them to put it inside the black line before they launch. Also to launch, the team technicians must not be holding anything from moving. In the case of mislaunch, use your best judgment and try to be lenient when you can. Gracious professionalism is how we express our core values in First Lego League. The robot game is an important place to observe gracious professionalism, and the referees will evaluate this for each team at each robot match. Your job includes being a friendly role model for the teams, calming their nerves and encouraging them, especially when their robot does not perform as expected. Through these interactions, you will be able to observe the team's behavior towards you, their teammates, and others. This will enable you to evaluate their gracious professionalism. Your robot and all its equipment must fit into one of the inspection areas. If it is small enough to fit into this small inspection area, you will score the bonus points. During the inspection time before the match, make sure the robot has four or fewer motors, only one controller, and that all the equipment and the robot fit inside either the large or the small inspection area. Team members may use their hands to balance all the equipment while the referee is checking if it fits under the imaginary 12-inch ceiling. Note the bonus for fitting into the small inspection area is different to last year. It is 20 points. Mission 1. Innovation Project Model In this mission, you will use the innovation project model you have made that represents the solution to your innovation project. If your innovation project model has any part touching the Cargo Connect circle, remember that the innovation project model which the team provides is considered equipment. It must be included in the pre-match inspection and must be treated as equipment during the match. Mission two, unused capacity. Fill the container with its contents. While the hinged container is in home, a team member can fill it with the contents. If the container is closed and partly full of contents, if the container is closed and completely full of contents, there are six content pieces to put back in the home area each time you reset the field. Check that the hinged container is completely closed, otherwise it scores zero. Remember the benefit of the doubt rule here. If the lid looks closed, that's okay. You do not need to check to see if there are any tiny gaps between the lid and the container. Next, you will need to open the container to count the contents. Mission three, unload cargo plane. Unload the cargo plane and send the container on its journey. If the cargo door is lowered and rests completely down, touching its black frame, and the container is completely separate from the plane, remember to reload the container into the cargo plane when resetting the field. Note that only the widest part of the yellow cargo door handle will actually touch the black frame. 
Mission four, transportation journey. The airplane and truck must reach their destinations. If the airplane is completely past its blue end line on the mat. If the truck is completely past its blue end line on the mat. A bonus is scored when both tasks are completed. Extend the blue end lines in both directions as needed when scoring. This will help you to identify if the airplane or truck are in a scoring position. Mission 5. Switch engine. Switch your engine from diesel to electric. The engine is switched so that the yellow bar is resting all the way down to the south. Mission 6. Accident Avoidance. Park safely without causing an accident. At the end of the match, if the robot is parked over the blue accident avoidance line, and only the yellow panel is knocked down. But if the robot goes too far and the black frame is knocked down. In this mission, any part of the robot can be over the blue accident avoidance line. Even if it is only a small part of the robot, like an extended attachment, it will still score. Mission seven, unload cargo ship. Unload the container from the cargo ship. If the lime green container is no longer touching the ship's deck, move the lime green container so that it is completely east of the cargo ship's east deck. You need to check that the container has been raised off the deck. Even the narrowest gap will score. You will need to move to the south or overhead to see that the lime green container has been moved clear of the ship's east deck. Mission eight, airdrop. Release the food package from the helicopter onto the other field. If the other team releases the food package onto your field, deliver it to the cargo connect circle. If the food package is separated from your helicopter, if the food package that came from the other field's helicopter is completely in your cargo connect circle, if both teams have separated their food packages from their field helicopters, a bonus is scored. The maximum score possible is 40 points for each team. Make sure the food packages of both fields are reloaded onto the helicopter when resetting the field. The food package must be completely in the Cargo Connect circle to score these points. This is the guided mission. Teams will be provided with the program to complete the first part of the mission. Make sure to be on the lookout as teams may be tempted to release the food package from their other field's helicopter themselves or even grab it by hand. This is not allowed and would be considered interference. This mission provides a good opportunity to watch gracious professionalism and how the two teams interact with each other. Mission nine, train tracks. Lower the section of the train track and get the train to its destination. If the train track is repaired so that it rests completely down to the west. If the train has reached its destination and is latched at the end of the tracks. Make sure that the repaired track section can be raised and lowered without interference prior to the match. Also, be sure to check that the train car has triggered the red latch so that it cannot move back down the track. Mission 10, Sorting Center. Sort the containers, leaving the light orange container in the sorting center. If the light orange container is the only container remaining completely in the blue sorting area box. Note, these containers may also be used in other missions. Make sure to reset this model correctly. There must be a container in each bay. The bottom shelf must have the blue container, but it can be in any one of the three bays to the left, middle, or right. Then the light orange container goes in the middle shelf, but in a different bay to the blue container. Lastly, the lime green container must go on the top shelf in the last remaining bay. You can set the containers up in six different ways. 
Change the setup each match so teams do not know in which position the colored containers will be. At the end of the match, the light orange container does not need to be properly positioned in a shelf. As long as it is completely in the blue sorting area box, it will score. Mission 11, Home Delivery. Deliver the package to its destination on the doorstep. If the package has been delivered and is on the doorstep partly, or if it is on the doorstep completely. The package starts in home, so return it when you reset the field. If the package is flat on the mat and just touching the step, it does not score any points. Part of the package has to be lifted up onto the doorstep to score. Mission 12, large delivery. Transport the turbine blade to the blue holder, avoiding the chicken statue. If the turbine blade is touching only the blue holder and the mat, or if it is touching just the blue holder. If the chicken statue is upright with its base partly in its circle, or if it is upright with its base completely in its circle. The turbine blade starts in home, so return it when you reset the field. Teams will find the chicken statue is in the way of the most direct path to the blue holder. Therefore, they may want to move the chicken statue out of the way. If they return the chicken statue to its circle before the end of the match, they will score if the chicken statue is upright and its base is either partly or completely in its circle. Mission 13, Platooning Trucks. Latch the platooning trucks together outside home and also latch them to the bridge. If both platooning trucks are latched together completely outside home. If a platooning truck is latched to the bridge. A bonus is scored when both tasks are completed. One platooning truck starts in home, so return it when you reset the field. To score, the latched platooning trucks must be completely outside home. They are allowed to latch the platooning trucks inside home and then move them out. Mission 14, Bridge. Lower the two bridge decks. If one bridge deck has been lowered and rests on the center support. If both bridge decks have been lowered and rest on the center support. Mission 15, Load Cargo. Load cargo containers onto different forms of transportation. A maximum of two containers can score per form of transportation. If there are any containers loaded onto the platooning trucks. If there are any containers loaded onto the train. If there are any containers loaded onto the west deck of the cargo ship. Three gray containers start in home, so return them when you reset the field. The maximum score on this mission is 120 points. 20 points for two containers on the platooning trucks, 40 for two containers on the train, and 60 for two containers on the west deck of the cargo ship. The containers must not be touching anything except the platooning trucks, the train, or the west ship deck but they can touch the other containers and the gray ends of the cargo ship's west deck. Mission 16, Cargo Connect. Deliver cargo containers to the circles. If there are any containers partly in any circle. If there are containers completely in any circle. If the blue, not hinged, container is completely in the blue circle. If the lime green container is completely in the green circle. 
if there are containers in any circle. Start with the first scoring condition. Look at the whole field and check the six circles. The score is five points per container that is partly in a circle, 10 points per container that is completely in a circle. Then go to the second scoring condition and see if the blue, not hinged, container is completely in the blue circle to score an additional 20 points. Then go to the third scoring condition and see if the lime green container is completely in the lime green circle to score an additional 20 points. Then go to the fourth scoring condition and see how many circles have containers completely inside them. Don't forget the chicken statue circle is also included. The maximum score for circles is 60 points as there are only six scoring circles. Mission 17, Precision Tokens. The less you interrupt your robot outside home, the more points you will keep. If you interrupt your robot outside the home area, you will lose a precision token. Precision tokens left on the field will result in extra points. Note the points scored for precision tokens has changed since last year. The points for having five or six precision tokens left on the field is the same. This means that teams could interrupt once without it costing them points. Referees remove a precision token each time their team interrupt their robot. Remember that referees will be evaluating your gracious professionalism at each match. Remember to encourage the teams and make them feel at ease, especially during setup. This will give you a good opportunity to observe how they interact with each other and everyone else. Remember that the pressure is on during the event, so some tears or disappointment is a normal reaction when things don't go well. Remind the team that they have three appearances at the robot game and only the highest score will count. Also, that the tournament itself is only one day in an amazing season of working as a team. Assume that all teams start with accomplished, gracious professionalism, scoring three points. If team members treat each other, another team, or the referees disrespectfully, they may still need to develop their core values and could score two. In contrast, Teams who demonstrate extra special kindness and support for each other may qualify for an exceed score of four points. It is left to the referee's discretion as to whether to fill gracious professionalism before or after the team's signature. Please be familiar with the core values and talk with other referees about gracious professionalism. Remember to read the Robot Game Rulebook and check for any updates during the season Good luck.